garam yaren ge garam yaren ge go nam yaren ge garam 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 yaren ge go do you need do you want to use a stick attachment you're just gonna go over it yeah. Sometimes with a pile like that, it is easier to use the stick on it, yeah. but the stick? you're good. Huh? No. Do it your way. It'll it'll probably be fine. Just turn this on, right? Mm-hmm. Why does this blow out? Because that is the stick, the upright section of it. But when you tip it back, but hey, 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 you have to tip it back for it to redirect the vacuum through the floor. So yeah, tip it back to you, just more, a little further, and then push down to the ground. Pull it a little further back toward you, like tip it a little more exactly, and then a little too much, split the difference, and then push it down to the ground. What? Yep. What? What are you saying? Like this. Watch this, and then I'm just gonna push it, like push it down to the ground. Okay. I'm your ring gay god, I'm your ring gay god, I'm your ring gay god. Nam yoring ge galam 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 Nam yoring ge galam 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 Nam yoring ge galam 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 yoring ge Nam yoring ge galam 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 yoring 
Lam yoring gay gaulam 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 yoring Yoring gay golem, 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 yoring gay Nam yo hurring gay go, nam yo hurring gay go, nam yo hurring gay go. Nam yo hurring gay go, nam yo hurring gay go, nam yo hurring gay go. Nam yo ringe go, nam yo ringe go, nam yo ringe go. Nam yo. So that concludes my evening gong yo. Um, I did want to mention one quick thing. So in the Lotus Sutra, um, the, there's two verses that I recite. And the second one we refer to as the lifespan of the thus come ones, or of the thus come one. And in this chapter, the Buddha speaks about his apparent passing into extinction, that he has left, or it appears as though he has left. But in fact, of course, he has not. He is always here preaching the law. I am always here. Um, and specifically, uh, there's one part that really stood out to me recently when I was rereading this. When living beings witness the end of a kalpa, which is a period of time, and all is consumed in a great fire, this, my land, remains safe and tranquil, constantly filled with heavenly and human beings. The halls and pavilions in its gardens and groves are adorned with various kinds of gems. Jeweled trees abound in flowers and fruit, where living beings enjoy themselves at ease. The gods strike heavenly drums, constantly making many kinds of music. Mandarava blossoms rain down, scattering over the Buddha and the great assembly. My pure land is not destroyed, yet the multitude sees it as consumed in fire, with anxiety, fear, and other sufferings filling it everywhere. And uh, that was something that kind of rang true with me. How reality can appear to be a certain way, but we always have this, this like treasure of peace available to us in all of our moments that like at any time there can be a Buddha that arises in all of our situations. And we can choose to absolutely be happy now, no matter what is happening around us. And that's, that's kind of our right as, uh, as incredible human beings. So, 
I'll leave you with that. Um, and I think it particularly nods toward me being interrupted by a vacuum cleaner because, as the Buddha says, my pure land is not destroyed. It's, it's okay.